Remembering a congressman, Elijah Cummings died today at the age of 68. The Maryland representative was known as a staunch civil rights advocate. News aide's Julia Dang looks back on his life and legacy, and you talked to some Hoosiers he inspired. Yeah, Mike, Congressman Elijah Cummings came to Indianapolis in April 2005, and that night, hundreds of people packed a local church to hear him speak. Today, I met the former ministry leader who helped arrange that event. She called it life changing. And almost 15 years later, she told me she remembers every detail. He never forgot where he came from. The son of former sharecroppers, Baltimore native Elijah Cummings, died Thursday as chair of the House Oversight Committee. Tonight, his empty chair draped in black and decorated with flowers. Very sad for all of us. We've all lost a friend. As Congress mourns the death of one of its own and leaders reach across party lines to share their grief. He will be sorely missed. Hoosiers are remembering his life, legacy, and lasting ability to uplift. His story about how he was in the special class at school. In April 2005, Diane Foreman and her pastor invited Cummings to speak at New Era Church in Indianapolis. He told a tale she and dozens who attended have been retelling for years. When it came time for him to go to high school, he was told to meet with his school counselor to plan out his classes. When he sat down with the counselor, the counselor basically said, um, now what would you like to be? He said, well, I I would like to be an attorney. So he was a kid who talked a lot. The counselor told him he spoke poorly and set the bar too high. The counselor basically told him, well, you know, maybe you should do like, be like your mom or your dad. Cummings went on to earn a bachelor's from Howard University and a law degree from the University of Maryland. It was a tale about dreaming big, he had told before. But that night in Indy, Cummings revealed how that story came full circle. Somebody comes in and they need help. They're saying, my attorney has not shown up. I need somebody to represent me. I need some help. He agreed to take on the client, even though she walked in on his very first day of work as an attorney. Won the case, everything was just fine. But as they're leaving the courthouse, he turns to the person and says, you don't remember me, do you? And the person, she turned around and says, no, I don't. It was the very same high school counselor who told him he could not be an attorney. A man who lived the American dream and worked until the end so others could too. Don't let somebody tell you what you have to be and never shrink. President Trump tweeted, my warmest condolences to family and friends of Congressman Elijah Cummings. He called him a highly respected political leader and noted the congressman's passion and wisdom. Cummings died from complications related to ongoing health challenges.